yeah. but I don't have any other like Solana NFTs that are PFPs. I only collect art on Solana. So, all right. So let, let's talk about the Bonk airdrop. So before they dropped the NFT collection, they gave you an airdrop. So Bonk is just a token, um, and it's sort of Solana's not sort of it is Solana's first airdrop. You know, on the Solana ecosystem. So um, in in their NFT space. So last year we had in, on Ethereum SOS and a whole lot of other tokens that we got dropped. Bonk is their first one, and it's almost like the Solana Dogecoin. It's a meme coin. Um, and it really, it really, like people didn't take it seriously to begin with, and right? it's similar to Dogecoin. And then it, it actually, like, has done pretty well, and it's actually holding really stable. And we'll have a look at the price shortly. But it, it's Solana Network's first ever meme coin, similar to Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. And on the official bank website, it states that they tired of toxic Alameda research and those sort of tokenomics. They wanted to just make a fun meme coin, right? Um, it single-handedly has, you know, carried Solana Network from its low of $8 and raised it to $16. Now, I don't know if it's single-handedly bonked, but it definitely had a lot to do with it because a lot of guys got an airdrop and then put that airdrop back in into um, NFTs on the Solana ecosystem on Magic Eden, right? So if you are part of the Solana community, you receive 50% of the total bulk supply as an airdrop during launch, and that was split as 20%. Of that, of the 50%, was sent to 40 Solana NFT collections. Some of those were Cyber Samurai, Lily, Lotus Gang, Soul Gods, and more. And then 15% went to early open book traders, 10% to Solana artists and developers, and 5% to Solana developers. And now you can trade Bonk, you can buy it and trade it. Um, and then, separate to that, it, it, um, they launched a Bonk's NFT project, right? It's a 15-piece PFP NFT collection. It sold out immediately after launch, bro. It took like an hour or two. Wow. Um, and it's now three times what it was at mint. So it's 3x from mint price. And if you have a look here, I mean, this is the token price. Um, if we just make it a year, just from all time. So you can see here, you know, it, it, it had a bit of a spike. And then, you know, it's held steady. It hasn't dropped off. It's holding very, very steady. And it's going to be interesting where it goes from here. I think depending on their next moves, um, you know, this might be the beginning of something or it could just end up fizzling out, you know. Yeah, dude, I saw it at, right at the peak and I was so close to jumping in and I was like, you know what? This has got to be the top. Like, there's just no way we're going to run and see this keep going. So I'm so fucking glad I did it, dude. <laughs> oh, God, that would have been a disaster. Yeah. So look, it's interesting. It's one I'm watching for sure. And I want to see what happens with it. Yeah, you, um, you gonna yeah. trade it? No, bro. It's like it's too degen for me on the crypto side. You know, I'm not I'm not a, a very savvy crypto trader. I'm not. NFTs, I really feel like I am. I've got all the tools and I, I know what I'm doing to some degree, but crypto, I don't. I really don't. I don't know how yeah. to short and long and stop orders and things like that. I am learning how to read charts and I am like bettering myself on the crypto side just to get more knowledge, but I don't feel confident to trade even mid coins, let alone, you know, absolute shit coins. You know, I really don't know how to look for the things and the crosses and, you know, the Bullinger bands and everything you need to know in order to, to make it successful. So no, I'm not trading it, but I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Yeah. Phil doesn't touch anything, including ApeCoin. I've touched ApeCoin more times than you have, my dear friend. <laughs> I, I traded it. I traded it success. The last time I traded it, I traded it very successfully. That was um, before this announcement about this game, and I made a thirty percent increase Dang. from I bought it. Yeah, I bought it at I made zero. and I sold it at four. But my first ApeCoin trade, I screwed up. I got the ApeCoin airdrop for my mutant, yes. and I sold it immediately at four or five dollars, and it then uh. proceeded to go to twenty five dollars just oh. before the other other uh, other side launch, and I had sold it at five dollars. So I ended up getting six Ethereum, okay, just for holding a mutant. But I could have gotten five oh, it times. Could have been that. thirty Ethereum, bro. No, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. Yo, you want to hear a story? You want to hear yeah, a crazy story? So on the spaces I yesterday, I had a guy who came on. He's uh he's one of the L he's one of the imposters. Uh, like he does a bunch of stuff in yeah, the. Hello, trades. 
Yes. Yeah. Anyways, he told me that he was one of the first 4,000 people in the Shiba Inu Telegram or Discord, whatever it was. First 4,000 people. He said, you want to know, know how much he made? Philip, this motherfucker six $1,000 into Shiba Inu before anyone found it. And when it runs up, he pulled out $1.3 million fucking dollars, dude. $1.3 million off of $1,000. I could not believe it. I literally was shy. On the stream, I was like. You see, that makes me want to buy some bunk. Even if it's <laughs> not a lot, it does. Even if it's oh, not a lot shit. of money, put $1,000 into it. Buy every shit coin on the market. So maybe put a hundred thousand dollars in, buy a hundred shit coins. Not financial advice. You really shouldn't do this. Financial and, advice. And, and then, like one out of the hundred has to hit for you to for you to make a million bucks. Yeah, that's what that's what Alex Becker did. That dude. He said, right, right when the bull market picks up, he goes, then you pick your top twenty coins. You throw a hundred bucks in each one, and you yeah, see what yeah, happens. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking about the bottom twenty. I'm talking about the the sm the real shit coins like this bunk. Yeah, no, I'm no, saying. I'm saying I'm just saying like to do that, but like when the market heats up, he's saying and the bunk was good timing, like it kind of picked up at the same time. But like with Alex Becker, he did that shit with the gaming coins right before, like when we were in a bull run, and was like, you know what, I'm gonna instigate this gaming bull run. So he talks about it, then he starts buying all these gaming shit coins, and I think he like turned uh, like maybe like a few hundred k into a few million again. And I was just like, this Incredible, motherfucker, hey. this guy incredible there's definitely something to it but i'm not yeah. i'm not proficient enough but i'll get there but for now i'm uh, like losing my money on nfts instead of losing my money on 